If you have been earning money on Binance, you have been probably thinking, what is this liquid swap where you can earn more than 50% interest? So if you have $1,000, that is $570 for free. Or 31%, if you have $10,000, that is $3,100 for free. So what is this liquid swap? What are the risks? I'm going to go through in this video. I'm going to show you click by click how to use this. And I'm going to go through the benefits and the risks. And I'm going to show you also other ways how you can make money on this Binance Earn platform. So this is going to be the most helpful liquid swap tutorial that you have ever seen on YouTube. Before I dive to the screen, I want to mention that Binance paid for liquid swap users more than 11 million dollars in the first eight or nine months from August 2020 to May 2021. More than 11 million dollars. So yes, Binance is paying a lot of money for liquid swap users. If you don't know what this Binance is the biggest cryptocurrency platform in the universe, you will also get a 10% bonus through my link in the description. You simply click the first link there, you put your email address and password, then you have automatically 10% bonus here, you click create account, you will get that. Then once you are inside, you come here finance and Binance earn. You can see here simple and secure and here you can start earning money. And the basic view is this guaranteed, where you can earn a guaranteed principal, guaranteed money and then there is this high yield where you can earn more money but there are also higher risk as they explain here. High yield staking coins can provide higher than average gains but with corresponding risk to your invested principal funds. Only invest what you can afford to risk regardless of how high the potential rates of return are. And in this video I'm going to go through with you what are the real risks with this because you really must know this before you put any of your money here. They say this is popular and a single action. Earn high yields from transaction fees, flexible interest and liquidity rewards by providing liquidity. So now you are asking, what does this, what does this all mean? Providing liquidity. Let me explain. So let's come here to liquid swap. We click here, view more. It opens the whole window for Binance liquid swap. I will walk with you through this whole platform. So first there is this pool. Here you can see the total yield. So the interest rates, how much money you will be earning. You can also filter this out between between different categories. I will show you more in detail in a moment. Then there is liquidity and then there is swap. So here if you want to exchange from one cryptocurrency to another, here you can do it easily. Let's say that if you have for example some USDT and you want to transfer it into let's say for example Bitcoin, here you can do it. You click here how much you have and then swap. Minimum is one dollar here. Then my share here it shows how much you have put money. At the moment we put as an example like 11 or 12 dollars and here it shows how much you have earned so far. So I will show you in a moment this example what I put to show you and here it shows the swap history. At the moment it says no records found because I haven't really used this. I prefer using this trade and then convert or classic section as you have seen on my previous videos on this earn money on Binance playlist where I show you step by step how you can also earn money on Binance. So what are the risks? Now you are thinking hey this sounds wonderful. I can earn 55% interest or 30% interest, like thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars. You are thinking like this, but hey, you must know the risks. So let me explain how it works first of all. It takes us to this liquidity tab and here we have now you can see Dusk and USDT. USDT is like Tether, it's a similar like US dollar so there is almost unlimited supply. Dusk on the other hand it's another cryptocurrency. So what would you do here to earn interest is you provide liquidity. It means that people can swap here, people can trade here because you put money here so they kind of borrow your money and once you withdraw them you get it back with the interest interest. However, there are some risks. So let me explain you. You either need to add both of them. So if I would want to add for this liquidity pool, I would need to add both of them or only one of them. So oftentimes I have USDT in my wallet. So I could come here and I could add here, let's say for example, 100 USDT and the total yield would be 55%. What they would do here is that they would divide it automatically. $50 would be in USDT and $50 would be in Dusk. In the other words, I would take a risk that what if Dusk goes down in value or what if USDT goes down in value compared to Bitcoin which is obviously crushing dollar and everything else. So that's the first risk. 
Second risk is of course not your keys, not your coins. So when you have money in Binance or any other cryptocurrency platform other than your own wallet, what if something happens to Binance? What if something happens to if you're holding your money in BlockFi or Nexo or Celsius or Kraken or whatever coin base? There is always that counterparty risk. So of course in that sense it may be safer to hold your money in hardware wallets so Trezor or Ledger but there is also risk with that. What if you lose your keys? So holding your money anywhere there is always risk. Holding your money in your hand with the cash there is risk so everything has risk so in my personal opinion Binance is one of the safest options it's the biggest one so they have been safe for many many years so I think it's for most people it, it's much safer to hold money in Binance than in a local bank or in your own wallet for most people for some people it may be different it depends on your own like personal responsibility can you take your responsibility of your keys and these things that's another thing that you need to keep in mind they say not your keys not your coins and then there may be fees so let me show you here here they say zero fees so if you would add both of these you can see dusk and also usdt then you would add the same amount of them so let's take for example 10 of both you can see it shows you the same amount in usdt so you would add both of them at the same time at the moment you can see i don't have it but if i would have it uh, there would be zero fee but if you have at only one you can see that it transacts into two different ones so then it takes a small conversion fee there also when you withdraw there is a small fee so if you would use this just for let's say a couple of days it's not worth it in order to earn that interest it's better to hold it for a longer time because there is first this swap fee and second there may be conversion fees and also there may be risk with liquidity i will explain it more in the moment of course there are some benefits as well so first of all if you want to earn money let's say for example i prefer btc so if i would be doing this i would hold something with btc let me show you there was btc here bnb and btc i would prefer holding this because i believe that the value of this goes up so i'm holding some bnb and btc but i rather hold it in different accounts than on liquidity swap because of the reasons that you learn in this video but let's say that i would be holding these ones here i'm providing liquidity so now people can exchange these coins these tokens here on the platform because somebody like myself would be providing this if you are doing it you are providing liquidity so people can transact people can exchange different coins so you are providing some value for the marketplace and of course for that they are paying you interest because if you want to earn some money then you need to provide some value and you are providing value by giving your money into this liquidity pool so yes you are doing something good here and of course the benefit for you is that if you want to swap yourself then you can do it here because other people People are doing the value other people are providing liquidity so then you are paying them a small fee for doing this swap so yes this is a nice platform and here they also explain the advantages low fees simple and you can also earn commissions and the fees are extremely low actually I've wrote down that liquid swap users paid just 0.06 or 0.1 percent fee for each transaction so next time you make for example $1,000 transaction you pay less than $1 in fees so the fees are really small but the fees are still there so you need to keep that in mind I think the biggest risk here is that what if the price of these tokens that you are staking goes up or down or it changes a lot I think that's the biggest risk in that sense let me show you here if you go here to pool section you can see that if there are some small cap coins some risky coins for example dusk you can see for those ones you can earn the highest interest or so, uh, that's a little large cap coin but there is usdt which is risky because us dollar is going down or wet for example chr you can see for these ones theta pond these like smaller cap coins the interest is higher but then if you come down let's put this to the other way around so total yield would be the smallest one usually there are good ones like let me show you for these ones it's not changing because both of them are one dollar so that's why the yield is very small but let's take bitcoin which is my personal opinion the strongest you can see here two largest cryptocurrencies the interest now around six percent and you can earn the same for example from nexo or almost the same from blockfi or celsius so now here comes the fees because for those platforms you don't need to pay the fees so why would you use them here on the liquidity pools when you can put them there directly and you own the asset instead of uh, providing liquidity here or bnb and btc which are both great some of the biggest ones and you can see here let's say only nine percent interest of course it's much better than bank accounts and this sense but again it's not something there is also the risk here so now if we go to these so-called shit coins so coins that go down in value in the long term shiba inu you can see there is again higher but it doesn't help if you can earn 16 percent if you are losing 100 percent 
percent or let's say what the else we have here you can see for this let's say more rare coins the interest is higher and for the more stable ones you can see stable coins here we have two of them it's lower only three percent because there is no volatility so it always stays one dollar you can understand this the same three percent actually much much more you can earn more than ten percent interest for this on nexo or celsius so what's the point of doing it here on binance liquids but, but let's say that you want to put something so how it basically works is you come here liquidity and let's take for example you do that btc thing so what i did as a test for you i put usdt and btc i put usdt like 11 dollars and then and let me show you i put only this add usdt because i didn't have both at the same time then i tapped here and i clicked here add and then it came here to my share it has been here now a couple of days you can see here that it's been for a while and i can claim the unclaimed rewards i click here claim all at the moment it's so zero bnb because it's not so much and now you can see it added here a little bit so that's how it works that's how it works and of course i can redeem my staking by clicking here so once you have put the money once you have earned some money you just drag this here i put here redeem btc redeem both yeah i want to redeem both because now i have btc and usdt i click here redeem and you can see redeem successfully the redemption has been successfully processed in the liquidity pool transfer may be still in process please check the liquidity adjusting record later so yeah now it's done now if i go to my share you can see there is zero at the moment zero and zero and here we can see the history i put this a couple of days ago you can see five days ago and today i took it away so that's how you can earn money with this obviously it was just a test because i explained i prefer holding bitcoin directly rather than here in the liquidity pool where i need to hold also the other which is in this case usdt because i know that usdt is going down in value compared to bitcoin so i just hold bitcoin which goes up in value now if you want to learn other ways to make money on Binance you come here Binance earn section and then there are this taking there is a savings account and many other ways so go to watch my playlist earn money on Binance you will see there more than you can see seven ways to earn money on Binance you are absolutely going to love this thousands of people are loving this playlist you can see almost everybody likes this video so you and me my friend we will immediately see on this earn money on playlist where I show you better ways to make money on Binance than liquid swap so see you immediately on that playlist.